Well, we you know we lose a, a four-year um, starter in Tiana Dockery, so the, the acquisition of Jada Burse obviously is big for us. Um, it's a young lady who um, is very very athletic, is playing at a high-level club, uh, can play on either pin, left side or right side, has a great great uh, presence. Uh, our fans are going to love her, so I think um, she's got a chance to come in and really make a. Uh, if there is a seamless transition from where she's at to our team, uh, we're thrilled about that. Um, High-level attacker, and she's going to add a physicality to our team too. I think she's a Big 12-level blocker right now, and that's one piece that uh, certainly is going to be important as we move forward. Uh, Allie Nelson is a, um, a libero candidate for us uh, with Cassie Waite having one year left. Uh, certainly she's going to, uh, I think, get a great uh, learning opportunity under Cassie and our other returning DS's. Uh, she's got great quickness, um, good platform skills, uh, is an enthusiastic competitor, so she'll add uh, a great on-court presence to our team and somebody that will come in right away, I think, from a pass and serve standpoint and be ready to help our team uh, in those two areas. I don't think there's any doubt that uh, the physicality of Jada Burse and the attacking that uh, she can provide um, will allow a, a program that's in pretty good shape right now even grow even grow more. Uh, and same thing with Ali. We, we need people who can create uh, an urgency defensively on the backcourt. Uh, and that's part of the culture that we're building in Horish. And, and when we go on the road, that we, we want to outwork people. And um, she's built to do that. And um, Jade is built to obviously add the level of physicality that we need to continue to, to uh, manage this league and continue to grow in this league.